When you start your computer, do you hate that it takes so long to start? Wouldn't you love it if it could be so much quicker? If you could actually start doing things the moment you pretty much switch on the computer itself? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can do that, particularly for NHS computers, because one of the reasons why it takes so long is a software called Teams that we all love and use, but it does slow it down. And we're gonna show you exactly how you can switch off Teams at the boot up so that basically your computer will start quicker. This is gonna save you time every single day of your week and it's only gonna take a few seconds to show you. So let's get straight to that video as we tech enhance your primary care and learning. So to prevent Teams from booting up when you start the computer and slowing it down, it's really easy to do. Click on this Windows menu in the bottom left hand corner and then click on the settings tab and then that will open up a window and you go over to the apps section. Click on that. You'll see on the left hand side, there's a section that says startup. Click on that. And then you'll see all the various different programs that start up when you start up your computer. As you can see, most of them are switched on because they need to be a lot of relevant. But as you can see on mine, Microsoft Teams is switched off. This means that Teams does not automatically boot up when I start my computer. I can switch it back on if I want to, but as you can see, I keep mine off. And then when I do actually want to use Teams, I simply double click on the Teams icon on my desktop. Dead easy, and it means my computer is so much faster compared to when I've got it running automatically in the background. Obviously you can do this for various other programs, but make sure they're not ones that are essential to the way that your computer functions and for various other IT stuff. Hope that helps. I hope you found that video useful, EGP learners. And if you have done, leave a like down below because it lets me know this is great content for you and definitely share it with the rest of your team. Imagine how much time we can save in primary care together. Alternately, if you want to check out more information about teams and stuff, check out this video right here or YouTube's probably recommending another one for you right here. And as always, we're here to help tech enhance your primary care and learning. Catch you in the next episode.